Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Traps again and today I got a new video for you guys about the 180 liters tank, the big tank. Uh, as you can see all of the plants have been growing in uh, pretty nicely right now. Uh, unfortunately my floating plants have um, darkened out the right side of the tank. Um, you can still see stuff but from far away it really looks like it's completely dark but it isn't. Um, as you can see the plants have been growing out really well in the back we have some rotella green uh, they didn't grow as fast as the other ones on the left side where there is way more light um, these plants uh, Ludwigia I think not completely sure what it is again but these have been growing towards the light a bit um, so what I want to do is I want to uh, trim a bit of these floating plants but the thing is that my shrimp babies are mostly um, hiding in the uh, roots of the floating plants so when I remove some of the plants I actually might um, remove some uh, baby shrimps shrimplets uh, by accident so that's why I haven't been removing uh, the floating plants recently like a lot I should have done that but I possibly will um, today um, for the rest, um, there has been uh, a little bit of a snail plague. The pond snails and ramshorn snails uh, have did come inside the tank, and uh, eventually I got a shitload of um, eggs of them. Problem is, uh, I can't get rid of them uh, as fast as they are growing back. So what I want to do is uh, introducing some uh, vampire snails, perhaps. And otherwise I will just keep catching them, trying to remove them. Uh, the good news is that I actually got a lot of baby shrimps already. Uh, the shrimplets are also uh, moving to the foreground a bit more recently. I will try to show you guys. Give me a second. Oh, there are two of them. Two little shrimplets over here. They are extremely tiny compared to the mother. Let me see if there is a adult nearby. Oh, there are two adults. So this is an adult and these are the babies. The shrimplets. Really tiny little guys. But I actually really like uh, to see the new baby shrimplets coming in. Um, before they were just hanging out inside of... Um, nearby the roots of the floating plants but right now they are actually coming more to the foreground as well um, pretty interesting because i actually can see them right now and uh, it's fun definitely um, let's see what else has been going on oh yeah the big anubia is, is shooting new leaves as well this is a new leaf he recently did uh, send out an another leaf um, i think this is the second leaf that has been growing since i got this plant unfortunately a lot of algae is growing on it but oh there is another shrimplet really nice and I actually got some buried uh, shrimp as well, but I'm not completely sure where they are right now. Let me see. This red sakura maybe? No, the sakura isn't pregnant yet, or buried yet. Um, let's see if I can find some buried shrimp. There should be some. Oh, in the back is one. There is one. Oh, yeah, you can, well, the camera isn't able to pick it up very nicely, but there is a buried shrimp in the back. Um, the Corys, the Panda Corys are actually doing really great as well. They are really funny and uh, they actually have a great character. I really like these fish. Uh, I haven't tried them with traps yet, but they are extremely friendly. So um, I think they are not a problem to keep with traps. Uh, I got six of them. I actually wanted way more, um, but I just started off with six because I thought it was the most, like, the safest amount to start with. I just wanted to see how they would react on the tank and all the tank mates and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that I bought some uh, panda corridoras. They are really cute and uh, funny little fishies. They got like a really funny character as well. And uh, I don't know, to me they kind of look like uh, these truffle pigs. These pigs that uh, are basically always uh, digging in the ground with their noses to find these uh, really expensive mushrooms. Um, it's really fun. They are really truly uh, funny fish to have. Really happy with them. 
Um, for the rest, the plan was to actually introduce triops to this tank as well. But because I got like a lot of little baby shrimps coming in right now, I just wanted to wait a little bit longer until my uh, shrimp population is like growing and like thriving. Because I actually don't want to see that the triops would like pick off too many shrimps uh, where my basically my whole colony is dying out and uh, I can't get enough new babies again so the thing is i just want to make sure that i have enough uh, cherry shrimps that the cherry shrimp population is actually really booming and at that point i want to try to introduce some traps in case it goes wrong and they start eating from my shrimp um well then i can actually afford to lose some i really don't want to but you know, if I got like hundreds of them, uh, well, it I actually also can't see if they actually nibble on one or they steal one. But, um, well, you know, I just want to have a uh, solid shrimp population first. Because it's new to me, I never had uh, cherry shrimps before. And uh, I just want to establish this tank really well as well. So, um, yeah, that's basically why I haven't put any tribes in it yet. Uh, the other thing with tribes is um, because this is a pretty large scape, um, there are a lot of rooms where tribes can dig. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that all the plants have been settling with the roots. So it becomes less easier for the tribes to start digging and uh, uprooting all of the plants. Uh, unfortunately, the little Cory's actually do this as well, sometimes. Here you can see some of the plants have been uprooted by the Cory's. No problem though, I can put them back, but still, it's fun. They actually do dig up uh, plants as well. Um, the Microsorum over here, there is a Microsorum in front of the Rotala green. Um, this was not a, a, like my best matches of plants, because they are both uh, really light. Uh, green and so um, yeah you can see them properly but no problem um, um, it was like a little design mistake but no problem I will add some red plants in the back maybe in the future or um, I will just hope that the microsorum plant is like growing out way faster Here you can see another piece of the microsorum I think it's a windelof not completely sure but I thought it was windelof and um, well Tetras are also doing great. I really like the Tetras as well. Um, my girlfriend likes them as well, like a lot. We uh, added some uh, extra blue ones like a while back. I'm not completely sure if I uh, told you guys about it. But there are actually several um, uh, nano te uh, Tetras that are extra, extra blue. This one is extra blue. And that one as well extra blue ones and let's say that this is just a regular one this is a regular neon tetra and this is the extra blue version it's just a little bit more blue see the difference guys these have more red in the tails and these guys are just with a little bit more blue and almost no red left to be honest, if I knew that these guys were available in my country uh, first, I would have gotten only these ones because they actually are a little bit more beautiful than the regular ones, but still, it's fine. Uh, I just like the schooling uh, behavior of this fish, uh, fish species, and that's mainly why we picked them as well. They look flashy, it's something different, and uh, really like these uh, fish as well. Um, Let's see what else is going on inside the tank. Yeah, there is so much going on, guys. I just don't know what to talk about. Like, I haven't uh, filmed an update for you guys, like, for a while now. Uh, really sorry about that, but I actually got a new job. So, it has been taking some time for me to actually... Um, get to doing uh, Triassic Park trial stuff again. I need to adjust to my new job and in the meanwhile I need to keep up the social media chain of Triassic Park trials. So I'm sorry guys if I'm a little bit lazy or late with updating of uh, uploading some videos but I'm trying my best. I really try. Um, let's see what else is going on inside this tank. Um, well the, um, uh, the cryptos have been growing out pretty well as well. Let's see. Let's take a look at these. Really nice shoots, looking really looking really healthy. I have been giving them some uh, clay root sticks, some special root sticks for cryptocurrents. 
Uh, I think this was a Wenty Brown, I think. Not completely sure anymore. It is um, a like a, a lot of time, like a while ago than when I planted this tank. So I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what all the plants are called again. Um, oh, yeah. The uh, Boussaflandra Catagang. There is a Boussaflandra Catagang inside this tank as well. Of course, because I really like the Boost of Landra plants. And basically, this was a little Vitro Cup uh, clump, and I wanted to try to grow it out inside this tank and take a look at it. Um, I got another one inside my CO2 uh, um, in my CO2 added tank, and um, in that tank, it's definitely growing a little bit faster. So that's basically what I wanted to see. Um, though uh, this part or this piece is pretty nice as well. No worries though, it's looking good. Um, wondering uh, how this plant will, if it's going to survive or not. Um, it had some bad algae on it and some of the leaves actually have been dying off, but there are new shoots though. It's the Madagascar lace plant. Uh, my girlfriend picked this one, really happy with it though, because it is a really unique and uh, interesting plant to have. I hope this one is uh, going to regrow a little bit more soon. Let's see, over here we have some cryptos again and some really awesome, nice little, uh, really f uh, bright uh, green Boussaflandras. I definitely like this species and uh, it was pretty funny because the seller was actually giving them me at a really discounted price um, because it had really bad algae on it and I was like, oh, well, that's indeed looking pretty bad and he was like yeah so you can give them for half the price if you want i was like oh yeah sure no problem then i will take all of them so i actually took four of them um i got one of them inside my boost lab and the other three are inside this tank here is number one number two and number three is over here um, but these guys are actually of these plants are actually growing inside the little bit darkened out uh, part of my tank oh well Oh, I think it's a camera problem. It actually does look pretty dark on the camera, but if I move a little bit closer, you can pretty pick up anything you would like to see. So it is definitely darker on this side, as you can see. But I don't know, I kind of like it this way. It uh, kind of looks a little bit more natural to me as well. Like there would be like a little bit of a darkened out place where the uh, fish and shrimp would like relax maybe or something. Like in a little bit of a dark corner and then we have the like the like everything where everything is lighted where you can find your food and stuff i don't know i really like the setup but i definitely should get rid of some of these uh, floating plants because it is actually overgrowing the most of my surface right now uh, i think it crossed halfway already so definitely need to cut down some of these floaties um, but that's up for my to-do list um, let's see. I think that it's about it, guys. Uh, the Alterna Reineke over here. I think it was Alterna Reineke. I'm not completely sure, guys. I'm sorry. Um, well, the red plant over there. It has been growing out a little bit uh, slower than the other plants, but I definitely like the bright red color of these plants. And, uh, oh, yeah, the Volisneria. I actually have one Volisneria plant in the back behind uh, Cardamine. Uh, but it actually has been shooting uh, new little um, tiny uh, valley scenarios to the front as well. And there should be like three plants now. That's basically connected with a string uh, with each other. But it's a really interesting plant. And uh, actually the fourth or the fifth um, pod is going to shoot out in front of these rocks over here. So here's another one. He's basically shooting a root beneath the stones, rocks. And over there, the new plant will grow very soon. Really happy to see uh, that the plant is actually growing to the front. Um, it could have gone anywhere, so I'm pretty happy that it's like growing next to the side of my tank, like to the left side. And I actually wanted to grow it a little bit more into the front, and then I want to fill up this corner a bit, maybe, with it, with a volusionaria plant. Not completely sure yet. Um, if it's getting a little bit too much, I just will cut it down a bit, maybe. Uh, or replant it to the other side. That's possible as well. Well, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys liked the little update video about the 180 liters tank. Um, 
it's like uh, just a little small update. I just wanted to show you guys like how the tank is progressing a bit. Um, still no traps in it, but that will come in the future, definitely for sure. So if you liked the video, please feel free to feel free to like the video. If you didn't subscribe already, feel free to, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I would like to see you next time. Have a nice one.